to watch a football last night. No, no. It's going to come in here and watch it, but it's not the same without Winston shouting and bawling at the telly, is it? Because uh, he made it worth watching, even if it was a shite game, didn't he? Aye, aye. Fair miss him, that enough. Me too. Oh, I was in the bookies yesterday, and uh, Captain Dandy was running. Was it? Aye, yeah. he won as well. I wonder if Winston was backing him. Yeah, I wonder, I. Aye, I miss him too. Where we, pal, were lost with him. <laughs> Get it up, you, you prick. <laughs> you wouldn't know what it is to miss a pal, Bobby. What we never haven't had one, you black-hearted loner bastard. I don't need pals in the pub game, Victor. Suck you dry. Here's your post, Bobby. Oh, Chris, aye. You can give us our post as well. That'll save you humphrey out of the block. You can't do that, Jack. Her Majesty's post is very clear on this one. The mail must be delivered to the recipient at the recipient's place of residence. Since when do you care about rules? Give us my post. No, it's against regulations. Chris, you are a shiftless deadbeat. Why are you acting all officious as if you're being watched? Post. No, I'm not going to tell you again. Come on! So I'm going to get hung for this. Uh, it must be H, McDonald's, No, I've not got any. <laughs> Bobby, you've got a lucky bill on a postcard. Oh, what to read first? Lucky bill or postcard? I'm going to keep you till later, you wee minx. <laughs> oh, Sir Winston. Aye. Well, aye, what's he saying? To all at the clansmen, just a wee update on life in Finport. <laughs> One twenty-five quid in a puggy in Neville's amusement arcade, and a new baker's has opened. Their cream horns are the bollocks. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the place is hoaching with Fandan. Best move I've ever made. Come in here, get it obvious. Another nice piece of correspondence from Oscar Wilde and the photograph. Need lassie. Smash them, Bobby. Put it up with the rest of them. Ah, I must have been buying in bulk. Hmm. And he never puts his address on him, eh? Ah, queer that. That's Winston for you. He doesn't want anybody dropping in on him, you know. He likes a bit of advanced warning. Sorry. Afternoon, gentlemen. This is uh, Francis' sister, Molly Drummond. Now that is a familiar face. Jack Jarvis, Esquire. How do you do? How do you do? Bobby, flagger. Too shabby. Uh, you have me a disadvantage, Jack. Uh, I don't believe we've... No, no, no. Come on now. Molly Drummond. Uh, I think it was sold out the Alhambra six weeks in a row, 1902. <laughs> <laughs> Paradise is just next door. And it's all there waiting for you. Ah, I remember new aye, aye. What was that other one you sung? Uh, <clears throat> Be sure to write me when you get there. No, I never done that song. <laughs> that was Tilly McCake. Nasty wee cow. <laughs> Now, I'll get these. Come on, you pick me up at the bus station, Tam. Indeed you will not. Tam! Ah, of course, aye, aye, aye. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you, Molly's up for Finport for a few days. Oh, we, we, have, a, we have a nice friend in Finport, aye. I was telling her, aye. Anyway, Molly couldn't make Francis and I's wedding, so this is a sort of getting to know each other, you know. Aye. <laughs> Did I tell you that <coughs> Molly played the Carnegie Hall in the Big Apple alongside Billy Eckstein and Sarah Vaughan? Really? That's something there. <laughs> you know who bought her a drink after a show one night? No. Who? A certain Francis Albert Sinatra. Really? On the house. Oh, very cool. <laughs> so I'm always a pleasure to watch you. Nice my stroll, my stroll. I did it my way. Jack, where are you? Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. What's it that? That's Molly, flight with Alhambra, 1962. What a voice. Oh, aye. Yeah, she's still got the looks, eh? 
Oh, aye, aye. She's foxy. Aye. Nicely turned out. Blonde hair and the makeup and that. She's a looker. Oh, aye, she's a, she's a looker. <laughs> uh, what is it you're wanting? <laughs> oh, aye. Aye, you'll never guess. Bloody Winston's just phoned. Oh, aye, what's he saying? Nothing, really. How's tricks? <laughs> he was bumming up Finport or something chronic. Did you get his address? No, no. I asked him, but he was waffling on it, didn't he get it? Well, that's no bloody use, is it? He said a funny thing, though, Jack. Oh, aye. He said, how's the clansman? It's funny about that. Well, nothing, but... And then he said, how's Bobby? How's Bobby? Hmm. Well, that's funny. They must have assholes in Finport, surely. I would have thought so. Why would you miss a wanker? Why would you miss a big walking tit with legs? Dunderheader, a walloper. A surf, a go get me. A dimwit, a cock bag. Oh, <laughs> you know what I think? What? I reckon he's desperately lonely. Go on. Well, if you're so low that you miss the shittiest thing about the place you've left, Bobby, Bobby. then you must be really hating the place you're in. What does that put us? Puts us on the bus to Finport, Jack. I'll get the plates and the sauce. No, don't bother with plates. It's awful good of you to have me for the few days. Not a bit of it, Molly. Your family, for God's sake. I mean, I, I, I could have booked into a hotel, but so many of them nowadays are so impersonal. What the expense of tea? Oh, why? I brought the plates anyway. Thanks, Francis. Right, darling, that. Have you no brown sauce, Francis? Brown sauce? Uh, Aye. Oh, eh, uh, no. It's just red sauce we take, eh, Tam? Ah, uh, just red sauce. You know, I might have a sachet of brown sauce that I've lifted. When I eat out, I always grab a handful of these. <laughs> have me changed. <laughs> I know, what am I like? Every penny's a prisoner with me, eh? <laughs> you're the lady, you're the lady that I love. I'm the lady, the lady who. Oh, well, we've got the bus station there, so that's a five minutes walk to mm. the beach. That's the shops there. Mm -hmm. No, I reckon our best bet's starting on that be a state there. Stay there. Ah, well, that's as good a place as any. Besides, how many one legged old duffers can there be in Finport, eh? He's wanting up. No, actually, we're heading off. Um, I'm going to get down to Finport. Check up in Winston. Hey, what's wrong, man? Oh, nothing wrong. We just thought it was time for a wee visit, you know. Mm. Hey, Bobby, a lag on the sweet sherry. Right. Hey, Tom, we're going to shoot down to Finport to see how Winston's doing. Do you want to uh, come with us? Uh, hard than that, really. Uh, any other day, but. No. Oh, you dirty bugger. You <laughs> nicking about in the middle of the afternoon with your wife's sister. Oof, what are you all about? Francis is stuck in that library at five o'clock. It's my responsibility to... To what, Tam? To show her a good time. Oh, curious choice of words, that, show her a good time. <laughs> what is your idea of showing a woman a good time, Tam? Well, I'll bring her in here and have a sherry, chat. Convivial. Bobby, your idea of showing a woman a good time? Pumping up. Oh! <laughs> sister you're talking about. I'd only married ten minutes. Have a little respect. Tim, um, here's your chance to give me a bit of respect in case three pound eighty for the drinks, huh? You can look about all you want, Tam. Nobody's gonna save you if you're buying this round. You've had your freebie. Now it's time to cough up. Is it? Is it really? Oh, just in time, Eric. <clears throat> Got your signed album from the lovely Molly. Oh, boy, unbelievable. That's made my day. <laughs> right, let me square you up for the drinks, Bobby. Yeah, I'll get that. It's the least I can do. And the next gen, and the next gen. Oh, thanks for that, Eric. Do you know what? Here's another couple of drinks. Has anybody got a light? Why? Hey. There you go. Thanks. 
I've never got one of these when I need one. I'll give you it back in a minute. Oh, well, that's all right. You can keep that one. Thanks. The old lady, the old lady, they tell us Maybe we should have come down earlier. Time's marching on a bit. No, we've got stacks of time. The last bus doesn't go back to 11 o'clock. Right, what are we doing first when we get down here? Uh, well, we should be cognizant of the fact that we're down here looking for Winston. We should also bear in mind we're a couple of pensioners we don't get to the coast very often. So what are you thinking? Fish, chips, ice cream, pint, then Winston. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Listen, we'll not bother with the ice cream, eh? No. I can't even feel my clacker bag. Is it matter? The chips are warm, is it? I don't know. Shut. When is it home? Me. <laughs> Pint. Pint. <laughs> I'm starving. Ah, I know. You know. You doing food, son? Normally I, but my cook's in hospital with a depression. Okay. Queerest thing I've ever seen. Took all his clothes off, put them in a neat wee pile, walked into the water. They carted him. He was navy blue, shouting and bawling about toasties. <laughs> <coughs> Aye, well, uh, two lager. That's for the salt. Uh, well, uh, two pints of lager coming up. Oh, didn't he change the old barrel, eh? Nope, that's the last one. The brewery only delivers on a Wednesday. Okay, okay. Two whiskies, then, please. Don't recognise the two of yous? No, we're doing for Glasgow. Mm, what brings you to Finport? Well, as a matter of fact, we've got a pal down here. He moved down here six weeks ago. We just wanted to see how he was doing, you know. Uh, problem is, we won't have his address. What's his name? Winston. Winston Ingram. Red face. Port belly. Limp. Wooden leg. No. Where do you think the best place to start would be? You're starting to wonder about Finport in the dark, are you? Well, aye. That wouldn't be the best idea. See, when darkness comes, Finport belongs to the young team. <laughs> Jesus, what are we doing now? Eh, just hold up here for the night. Start your search in the morning. Michael here's got a bed and breakfast. Michael? Haven't you, Michael? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> now, the fellow was saying you've got a bed and breakfast. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You're a, an English fellow, aren't you? Yeah. I used to be a cab driver. Come up here in 95 with my missus. Worst move I ever made. I got back to London in a flash, but the house market went crazy down there. So I'm trapped. Trapped in Finport. <laughs> like a rat. <laughs> Mrs. couldn't stick it. She's gone back to live with her mother. Been quiet, has it? Quiet? It's... Yeah, it's quiet. About <laughs> to sell my car and make some money. It's been up for sale for two years. Here's my card. Breakfast is between 7 and 7.30. Or whenever you like, really. <laughs> Four and five at the top of the stairs. Thanks very much. 1989. You want to have a nightcap with me? No, nah, we've an early start in the morning, son. Ah, we've got a very big day tomorrow. Thanks for offering, though. Go on.
Have a drink. No, thanks. Have a drink with me, will you? Please? OK. <laughs> Great. What have I got? I've got vodka. No, I don't. I've got Bacardi. Uh, Bacardi's fine. We'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. Now, have I got a can of Coke? <laughs> Diet lemonade, do you? Bacardi's and diet lemonade. It's four eighty. Hello, Molly. Evening. Evening, Molly. Evening, Tom. Is your room okay, Molly? My room's lovely, Tom. Lonely, but lovely. Mm. Oh, here. Oh, you sit here. Yeah. Where did you get your guinea, Tam? The hospital. Oh, I was in for a bladder operation back when, and I, I thought a wee souvenir, you know. Yeah. Well, yours is nice tea. It's an Anne's Hotel. Very nice. I actually got two of them. Oh. Oh, it's a lovely hotel. Lovely rooms. Oh, beautiful, big, fluffy towels. I could hardly get my case shut. <laughs> 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 How's shut? <laughs> right, what are we watching? Oh, basic instinct. <laughs> I know you asked for bacon, but there wasn't. <laughs> See, if you opened a gun shop down here, there'd be a queue right down to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, get over it. She's not coming back. We need to get out of here. <laughs> get looking. No, 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 no. I've had that before now. Pay up. But no dinner runner. Her pals just walked past the windy. Yeah, good for you. Now, 14 pounds each. Cough up. <sighs> hey, yeah, that's dirty. Just get you your change. No, get yourself a card in that lemonade, you asshole. You. <laughs> There you go. It's on the house, seen as it's your birthday. You can't get enough sweetness in your life, Tom. No, no, you cannot. Molly, I'm sorry you've not seen much of Francis this week. They work hard at the library there, you know. Oh, Tom, it's good as a chance to get to know one another, and that's a good thing, isn't it? Oh. The dreaded bill. The bill, the bill, the bill. Ah, oh, Tom. <laughs> allow me. I will not allow you, not at all, no. <clears throat> Just get this money out of my pocket. That is a classic move. But here's one I don't think you'll have seen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Let me see. 
Hey, Sandy. Well done, darling. <laughs> Let me attend to my bill now. Let me attend to that. <laughs> oh, Tom, did you enjoy that wee song? No, it was the bill. It was beautiful. <laughs> I've never had a free beat of this place before. <sighs> we must have been up every bastard in the street in this town. Just a bit chopped all the skin off my knuckles. Why did we not just bring a photograph? That would have done it. A wee tune like this. Aye, right, because that would have been a clever thing to do. And what with us being a couple of daft old pricks? Oh, daft. Hello, you couple of queer hawks. Winston! <laughs> what in the name of Christ are you two doing here? Oh, well, didn't he see you? Well, you should have phoned. Aye, well, we would have done if he'd give us the bloody number. Aye. Came down to see if you're all right. What do you mean if I'm all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm in Finport. Welcome to Finport. I'll be a cat stuck up a tree or something. Listen, it was... Really nice he used to come down, you know, but as you can see, I'm fine and dandy. Yeah. So, uh, what is it you want today? Well, I'll just see you now, you know, get a cup of tea and uh, have a look at your digs. Oh, aye, aye, no bother. We've, uh, we've been out of room about. <laughs> There's not a lot to do, is there? Uh, what, what is it you do all day here? Me? Oh, pfft. I'm never done doing stuff. <laughs> all, all day, aye. Uh, every day. Like what? I'll tell you what you do, right? Come with me and I'll give you a day in the new life of Winston Ingram. <laughs> right. Do you know what this is? Penny Falls machine. Well, not quite, Victor, nearly. This is a cash cascade. It's a license to print money. See, this is a Penny Falls machine with foot and alarm. Oi, oi, oi. Boo, nothing happens. Will those coins ever fall? Thanks, gentlemen. Time to paint the tune red. <laughs> See? Hey? You don't get this in Craig Lang. No, you can get your money in Craig Lang as well. <laughs> so, eh? Uh, so you're settled then, eh? Here. What? Aye, of course, sir. Couldn't be happier. Well, that's shoes. Oh, so that is, uh, uh. Oh, we've never seen your digs, eh? Oh, aye. Eh, uh, well, next time, eh? Oh, we'll, we'll do that the next time. Eat right, well. All the best. Bye, Jack. Cheerio, Winston. Cheers, Victor. See you later. Molly. Oh, well, I'll come with you then. Don't be stupid, you've got the case. You stay and keep Molly company. All right, so. What's the matter, Tam? Do you not want to be alone with me? That's a problem, see. I want to be alone with you. Tonight, or morrow night, or the rest of my life. Your tight fistedness drives me crazy, sweetheart. <laughs> Gets me harder than the crossword in the herald. But this wedding band says we can never be. I'm married to your sister, Molly. Any feelings I have for you ain't worth the hell of beans. <gasps> Not your kind of sweeties and all, Molly. Thanks. Now, you look after yourself. Here's one last freebie for you, Tam. <laughs>
We have here now. We've seen it all. What the hell's happened here? The council told me I was going to a new place, you know. I thought they meant a new house. Down at the beach, but... It wasn't it? It was sheltered housing. Full of deadbeats. We red string to pull in case you'd fail or shat yourself. <laughs> I'll blow up at them. Tell them to stick it up their arse. Aye, well, you obviously did the right thing there, eh? Because this is the Savoy. <laughs> I know what I've done. Made a complete hoory at See, my problem is, I don't know when to admit I'm wrong. I came down here thinking that I could start all over again. Without anything, without anybody. Just me, on my Todd. But you can't. Not at this age. I mean, as shite as Craig Lang is, I miss it. I need it. I need the pub. The weeds. I need you too. What does it matter anyway, eh? I burnt my boats. Have you got a suitcase? I have, aye. How? Well, get it bloody packed. You're coming in with us. Aye. Well, where am I going to stay? Blackfields. <laughs> Here. Give me a wee second, fellas. Get it right, Rougie Finpaw! <laughs> I'll take your case for you now, sir. Oh, thanks, Rougie. I bet that's in thin foot. And BBC Two's Coach of Comedy drives on for the next hour with Catherine Tate next, followed by a council issue that makes Tommy furious. Saxondale is at 10. Lager, please. You big lantern jawed, bug eyed, chunky faced, bone idle, <laughs> dim witted bastard, you! <laughs> what? I've been away six weeks! 